As you can see guys, we're playing some more Outlast. This is part two, this is another let's play, and this is run. So in other words guys, we're gonna be running from the beasts inside. The terrifying monsters and trying to make our way through this asylum without dying. That is our goal, my friends. Hope you enjoy this stream or this video. Like I said, you can smash that like button, like, uh, like I said, follow, you know, do all that crazy stuff, guys. I will 100% be in your deck, guys. Thank you so much for your um, appreciation and your support. But, well, <clears throat> I'm pretty new to Outlast, so you guys are going to have to help me here. Well, I know the goal is to survive, but <clears throat> like that's not much of a goal, is it? There's got to be a little bit more of a goal to it, so... I'm wondering how the hell I'm going to get through this asylum without being sorted. If you guys can help me with that, that'd be great, because I don't want to die. I don't think anyone wants to die. Okay, just slam the door. <sighs> I've heard if you make too much noise in the game, you will die. So, um, I think I'm dead. <laughs> well, we must read the document. So, I'm going to let you read that, my friends. I'm going to read it myself, too. Don't you worry about that. But I hope you guys are having an amazing coming up to Christmas and it. So I hope you have an amazing Christmas with your family and friends. And I hope you Santa and uh, your mom and dad give you everything you want for Christmas. I know my mom and dad will, but yes. Like I said, without further ado, let's uh, hope you guys had time to read that for the younger audience. And uh, let's get on. So as you can see, this broad trails here, so we're going to follow them for a second and see... No, there's no one there. I was hoping. <sighs> Probably not breathe, but it's very hard. Can you see anything? Oh no. Are you joking? Are you joking? I don't want to die. <laughs> Help me. Alright, we're gonna have to move slowly. There's, an, there's no other way, my friends. We're gonna have to go this way. I don't wanna go this way, but at the end of it, if he comes near us, we're still gonna sidekick him in the face and uppercut him. That's what we're gonna do. That is my plan, my friends. This is terrifying, but we're gonna have to do it. Left or right, my friends? Do grab you, doodle. Oh. You have no choice but go. Oh no. Oh. Oh damn. How am I supposed to get past them? They don't seem to know I'm here at all. Hello, mister. I don't know, this is terrifying, guys. Am I going the right way? I'm gonna have to risk it. How 
how can he not see me? What the AI is this? This is a silly game, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Like, I'm used to games, I'm used to monsters knowing where I am. OMG, my friends, that's terrifying, like, to think they can see you, but they can't see you, man. That, that, that don't make any sense, but... Oh, well. D most games don't make sense anyway, so... Okay. The goal is not to die. But I gotta say, they got me... I didn't want to walk forward because I didn't want to die, but... I had to overcome my fear, my friends, if I was going to survive in Outlast. Because Outlast, you really have to remember that... The game AI is not meant to be good. It's meant to scare you out of your mind. And that's... It's done that. It really have done that. But, uh... Yeah. And that scared me, man. It scared me, bro. I love Outlast, but the thing I don't like about it is, is the AI. I like to be able to have to sweep past people, and if I die, I die. I like that. But I don't know if there's going to be any of that in this game, or it's just going to be you you either do it or you don't. So I'm guessing I had to use the key. Oh, we're not gonna be doing that movie all day. What am I missing then? AI man, <laughs> what the hell is this game? It won't even let me. I don't know if it's just me, but it's, it seems to be really buggy. Oh, right, you gotta go underneath like that. There seems to be only one way to play this game. <laughs> that ain't no joke. I can hear the phone, but I don't know what I gotta do. I have someone telling me I got the key and I have to go back now. Someone's telling me I have to go past these terrifying monsters again. Jumpy as hell, and he. He's just poor guy to be really jumpy. <laughs> oh no, he's not. Get out, mate! Run! Oh, gee, that was terrifying, guys. But we have to get moving because, um, yeah, I, I, that was scary. I thought I was dead then. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing it's a side one with a lot to do, so we're gonna go find out what we gotta do all together. 
This game is very jumpy, but other than that, my friends, it's a pretty smooth experience. Just to remember that it's a game, and you'll be fine. You hear that? Something's been downstairs. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go downstairs and see what happens. There's a big asylum, my friend. We're gonna have to kind of find the mysteries of this. We've got cameras, but yet there's no one to watch them. Yeah, I'm gonna do the breathing for my character because I bet he's shitting himself. Wanna bet? Seems pretty safe to me. I think the open door thing is there for safety because obviously you're running through an asylum and you can't, you've got no guns or anything like that. The only protection you have are doors, I'm guessing. And uh, that doesn't give you much of a good feeling, does it? But if you can get past that, I think you will really enjoy this game. If you can get past the the scariness of the game, I think definitely just be a bit grown up and you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll just find it very hard to remember it's a game. That's all. Yeah, I'm playing on 50 inch right now, my friend, so it's pretty big. <laughs> Got my headset on and everything, my toe beats. It's very loud. One of them makes you, uh... You can open the doors really slow, so... You don't have any nasty surprises. Because I know the developers would hate for somebody to have a heart attack. <laughs> They lie. Who lies? So, I think looking at the CTV is very important. Oh no. <sighs> oh no. This game has just got very interesting. He's very aware, isn't he?
Am I supposed to leave now? But guys, we're going to leave it here because I have got a couple things to do today. But um, thank you so much for watching. This has been Outlast Part 2. Um, run. And yes, if you enjoyed Outlast, don't forget to smash that like button. Like, you know, follow and uh, subscribe to my channel for the latest content. And I guess I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. See ya.